G'day world, it's Nick from Noon Shift, and today we're going to be breaking down the writing of Save Me. I don't know why you won't save me. But why did you leave? Save Me was the first song that we ever put out. Um, I wrote it at the start of 2018 on a little family holiday in Barrel. So the idea kind of came about when I was just sitting by myself, just sitting on the bed and I was playing guitar trying to come up with a few ideas and the idea of this line just popped into my head and I, for some reason I just sang I don't know why you won't save me and I was like oh that's kind of something I like that at the time I knew that I wanted it to kind of be this half time feel just kind of like a Kind of that slowed down feel where it feels like you're being pulled back um, is kind of what we were going for. So the first two choruses of the song are in this kind of half-timey feel. And then the last chorus, I knew that we wanted to move to a full-time feel. So that we're kind of going from this slow, I don't know why you won't say. From that to, I don't know why you won't say. So that last chorus just really picks up. Moving to the verse, it's really just simple chords. I was kind of listening to a lot of Gang of Views at the time. They just put out their 2017 album, Go Father in Lightness. And I was learning all the songs and listening to all the songs. So the verse is really inspired by um, what they were doing. And one of the songs that I learned I had this chord progression where the only part of the chord that was changing was a root note. And we kind of applied that to the song in the sense that we're playing a D major over all three chords of the verse and it's the root note that's changing under it. So we've got the root note changing over the same D major chord. It gives the chords a bit of familiarity between them and at the same time adds a lot of colour, more colour than what you'd be getting if you just if you're just playing open chords. With the pre-chorus, I kind of wanted this feel where it feels as though you're falling down. We kind of got that by having the root note uh, just descending in pitch. So we were going. And at the same time, the lyric is, come down, I'm waiting for you. So it's kind of one of those situations where the music follows the lyrics or maybe the lyrics follow the music, I don't know. At the time, I just kind of learnt what a secondary dominant is. It's where you use a chord that might not necessarily be in the key in order to resolve back to another chord that is in the key. So in this case, I was using this dominant chord leading to the B minor. And kind of what that got us was this feel of kind of tension and release. So we were going... Like that. It kind of resolves itself within the progression. And then finally, we're going. I always knew I wanted to have that sudden cut off at the end of the pre-chorus, because I knew that would be this kind of space of silence where it's just the vocal line singing, I don't know why you won't save me, before the band comes back in. We'll come back in right before the beat. So just a little before the first beat of the chorus. So it's a little before where you'd expect it to be. So it's kind of supposed to take you by surprise. And that leads us back into the chorus. And yeah, that's pretty much how we recorded Save Me. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.